U.S. Congress calls for urgent transfer of cluster bombs to Ukraine. The U.S. Congress said that the American military is currently sitting on a surplus of cluster bombs, igniting discussions among lawmakers about the need to allocate more of these munitions to Ukraine, according to Congressman Joe Wilson of the Republican Party during hearings in the U.S. House of Representatives. There's an expressed hope that cluster bombs will swiftly find their way into Ukrainian hands. We have surpluses that must be destroyed. I know a way to destroy them, and that is to send them to the people of Ukraine, said Wilson. During his appearance in the House of Representatives, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin commented on the provision of long-range ATA CMS missiles to Ukraine, affirming that the US will provide Ukraine with as many opportunities as they can. Congressman Joe Wilson is a staunch supporter of Ukraine, having visited the country last year as part of a House delegation. During their visit, the delegation held talks with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky. Cluster bombs, as explained, are ordnance or missiles that disperse smaller bomblets upon detonation, offering the advantage of affecting a larger area. However, the lethal weapons are highly controversial and are banned under an international treaty signed by 123 countries, but not the US, Russia and Ukraine. Despite the convention's adoption, the proportion of cluster munitions victims has increased significantly, especially in recent years due to escalated use of the bombs but also better documentation thereof. In 2020, for instance, half of all cluster munitions casualties were recorded in Syria where the bombs have been used since 2012, both from direct attacks and through previously unexploded residual components. According to Human Rights Watch, Russian troops have extensively used cluster munitions in Ukraine, killing many civilians and causing other serious civilian harm. Ukrainian forces had also used them, causing numerous deaths and serious injuries to civilians, the international non-governmental organization said. Така вже четверта колона за сьогодні. Зустрічаю, везуть АТРи. АДР першої категорії, значить, це вибухонебезпечні, це най... найнебезпечніша категорія. Так що хлопці везуть, везуть боєприпаси в Україну. Так що чекайте, допомога їде. От так от. Так що все буде добре, все буде Україна.